Praise the Lord. All right. Mark. One. Are you there? Yeah. All right. We've got two verses here. Verses 14 and 15. I'll read verse 14 if we will read 15 together. Now after that John was put in prison, Jesus came into Galilee, preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God, and saying, The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye, and believe the gospel. Amen. Let's pray together. Father, thank you for all that has taken place thus far. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. Lord God, you're the conductor of the church, and we thank you so much for your mercy. We thank you for the birthday of the church. Oh God, it was birthed by the Spirit. And Lord, today as I observed, that same Spirit has kept this church alive. And we are so grateful, Lord God, that we celebrate Pentecost. When the Spirit of God came into an upper room where there were, it was said, somewhere around 120 people waiting for the promise of the Father. And as they were praying in on one accord, the Spirit came and baptized all of them. Out of that, these people broke out of that assembly. And they began to shake the dead known world because of the Holy Spirit. We pray that after the day, God, that we will be impacted by that same Spirit. But we need help that comes from God. Souls are dying, men are crying. Lostness of man is inevitable. Yes. We need your help, Father. Yes. And we know that by your Spirit, Lord, yes. such as can be saved, yes. they'll be saved. Yes. So we thank you in advance for answering our prayer. Yes. Conduct this service, the remainder of it, O oh God, in the yes. way in which it pleases you. Yes. That way you will continue to get your glory. These verses we ask in Jesus' name and all of his people say Amen. Amen. God bless you and you may be seated. Praise the Lord. God is good. God has been good to us. We're so grateful. Thank God for the musicians. And thank the Lord for Absence of the camera lady. We have another camera lady. <laughs> Thank God. Thank God for the mistress of ceremony. Thank God for her listening to the Holy Spirit. Thank God for Mario that prayed such a powerful prayer. God has a way of encouraging our lives. He's a great God. There are no accidents in the kingdom. Amen. God is a wonderful God. So we've been talking about healing the sick. Uh, God directed me to do a series on healing the sick. So if you have a condition in your body, why not let's believe God together Amen. for a healing. Yeah. Christ our healer is on the scene. Yeah. Praise the Lord. By way of introduction, I was reading some of my notes how God was speaking earlier. And he was saying something to me. This was sometime back, like the earth, the whole earth is off centered from God's divine purpose ever since the fall of man. And then he was reminded me that Jesus came to restore all things. Yeah. And so he, he had a clear sense of purpose. He 
understood why he came here. He understood that he had to die if man was going to live. But for the joy that was set before him, the joy that said you and I would one day be brothers and sisters in Christ. Through the power of the Holy Spirit. Millions of people. Millions of people would come into the kingdom. Mm -hmm. And be saved. For that joy. Amen. He endured the cross. Sometimes we don't know why we. May be going through. And God may be allowing us to be. To taste of some bitter things. But. It could be a higher purpose. Amen. But God, Christ knew his purpose. Yeah. Came to restore all things. And we just, uh, again, by way of review, we start out by uh, God reminding us about the seed, which is the word of God. Mm -hmm. And if anyone is going to get healing from God, it has to be through Christ. Amen. Amen. The word, the seed, right? Amen. By his spirit. Yes. Spirit always working in harmony with the word. Amen. And um, so we talked about the seed and the power of the seed. The seed itself will do the work, right? Mm -hmm. If that seed gets in the heart and remain there watered, then it will do the work. Amen. It will bring about the fruit by the Holy Spirit. So we talked about that. It's important that we remember that. If we're seeking healing for our physical body, let's go back and see what the Word has to say about it. Yeah. Let's not take our thoughts and our opinions too serious if they're not in line with the Word. Isn't that right? Because yeah. it's the Word of God that's truth. And that truth shall be our shield. So uh, we talked about the seed. And then uh, last Sunday we talked about uh, if we're going to allow that seed to be in our heart, we must believe in the integrity of the word God um, so that he can be trusted and his word be trusted Amen. isn't that right uh, God is a God of integrity we talked about that he's not a man that he should lie he said his word and it will not return void so we were reminded about God's integrity and, uh, we stand here today and all of us are here by the grace of God Amen. not because of our strength, but because of his strength. Amen. So we uh, just wanted to, by way of review, remind you that today um, we want to proceed uh, in talking about the healing of the sick, but there are certain things that we talked about in the past, getting rid of uncertainties mm -hmm. and things that would interfere with our steadfast faith. And we mentioned a lack of trust in God and the fear and the other things. And um, so today we proceed, we continue. We just read here in Mark's Gospel, verses 14 and 15, when Jesus came on the scene, he began to introduce the arrival of the kingdom of God. We shared on yesterday at the Minister's Prayer Breakfast how Paul said that the gospel is the power of God to salvation. We get to see God's righteousness revealed when the gospel is preached. And that, that is it's encouraging. Uh, the gospel is encouraging because it talks more about what God has done for us than what we have to do. And, 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 and I heard one, one gentleman, he's dead and gone I suppose now, many, many years ago when I started out in the faith, he begin to say, oh, check the content of your message if you're talking more about what we man have to do than what Christ has done, then your message needs adjustment. Because it will not build the kind of faith that people can stand in difficult times. Am I right? Amen. Paul said that your faith will not stand in the wisdom of man, right. but in what? The power of God. Amen. Okay, the scholars, uh, <laughs> y'all help me out here now. <laughs> Quote some scriptures here, but I want to hear from you. What did the word say? You know? <laughs> Amen. 
So we're going to talk briefly about the kingdom of God because that is so paramount if we're going to see the healings that we all desire to see. You say, well, why did you say that? Let me read a passage of scripture to you in Matthew chapter 4. As to why I said what I said. Matthew chapter 4, turn there with me if you will. And if you're there, say amen. amen. I want you to look at verse 23. And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom. Preaching what? The gospel. And healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people. And his fame went throughout all Syria, and they brought to him all sick people that were taken with diverse diseases and torments or pain, and those which were possessed with demons or devil, and those which were lunatic, moonstruck, and those that had the palsy paralyzed. And he did what? He healed them. But before he healed, he began to teach and then proclaim the gospel of the kingdom of God. Gospel is the good news of God concerning His Son Jesus Christ. I want to, I want to further bring your attention to something that Jesus did after He died, rose again, and gave some last-minute pertinent instructions to His disciples that they were getting ready to go out into the world and to preach Christ's gospel. Acts chapter 1, Luke wrote to Theophilus and said, The former treatise have I made on Theophilus of all that Jesus began both to do and teach till the day in which he was taken up after that he through the Holy Ghost had given commandments to the apostles whom he had chosen, to whom also he showed himself alive after his passion by many infallible proofs, being seen of them forty days in speaking, watch this, and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God. There were things that the apostles uh, were yet to be taught concerning the kingdom. They were with Jesus during his tenure here on earth. And they saw the hand of God. They saw the demonstration of the power of God. Healing the sick. Cleansing the lepers. Raising the dead. Casting out demons. Uh, just doing. Uh, making mankind whole. Somebody say whole. So a part of the, the, the purpose of this king coming. Is to make humanity whole. Whole from sickness and disease. Whole from uh, 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 soulish sickness yeah. from all kinds of sicknesses and disease the, the reason for the dynamism the dynamo of the kingdom of God is to make humanity whole and to bring restoration by the divine power of God Amen. Amen. so it's important that we proclaim the kingdom Paul said I'm not ashamed of it Because of what it does to humanity and for humanity. I believe that as we understand the power of the gospel, we also will not be ashamed of it. When we see broken lives change, when we see people that are wicked and evil come to get to know God and change into the humility of God and serving God and their lives change from wickedness to a kind of a person that's kind and great. not be ashamed of it. Amen. Right now many times we're ashamed of it because we don't understand its power. There's a joy that comes from seeing people's lives change. Jesus knew that joy. Hallelujah. You know, he tolerated Peter and he worked with him for a long time because he looked beyond his fault. He saw 
what he would become. Yeah. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So God gives us this wonderful ministry to bring people back to God. And one of the things that God has hot off the private press made me understand is that we look beyond the thoughts and see humanity's need. Because that's what he does, isn't that right? So the kingdom, Jesus began to announce the arrival of the kingdom of God. Demons tremble when you talk about the kingdom of God. Because they understand what it means for them. Mm. They understand that when you talk about the kingdom of God and his power, you are subject to see the rule and the authority of this kingdom manifest. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Satan is reminded that his kingdom come to destroy the works of the devil. Yeah. The mighty king of this kingdom, the prince of life, Jesus Christ came, the Bible says, for this purpose the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Yeah. And by the way, I'm glad for the intercessory team that got started this morning. Yeah. Hallelujah. when we pray God can do his work are you hearing what I'm saying I heard a preacher say one time God told him he said when you pray then I can do my work but if you don't pray I have to stand back and watch you try <laughs> Because the wife said, pray neighbor. <laughs> His kingdom has come. The Bible says Jesus, and he was talking about the, uh, what was going to happen in the final days. He, on earth, he said, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached throughout the whole world as a witness. And then shall the end come. Yeah. Every person will have an opportunity yeah. to make a decision for God. Yeah. Isn't that good news? Yeah. What a Savior. Yeah. Oh my God, He loves humanity. Yeah. Not willing that any should perish. So the kingdom of God has come and it comes to destroy the works of the devil. Now, the Bible says in John 10 For the thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. But I am come that the sheep might have life. Yeah. And that they might have it more abundantly. Yeah. I am the good shepherd. I give my life for the sheep. Yeah. The hireling, he says, is not so. When he sees the wolf come in and he takes off running because the sheep are not his. Isn't that right? But he, hallelujah, who the sheep belongs to, hallelujah, is a good shepherd. And has given his life for his sheep. Hallelujah. And he said, my sheep hear my voice. A stranger they will not hear because they know not the voice of a stranger. Hallelujah. My sheep hear my voice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. I've come. And I want you to know that Jesus says to you and I today, I've come that you might have life. Amen. I didn't come to trouble your mind, your heart. I didn't come to put you down and make you just go through with no reason, for no reason at all. I came to lift you up. I came to pick you up. I came, hallelujah, to give you a new lease on life. I came that you might have life to the full. I came for this purpose. And God will never alter in his approach to his purpose. Isn't that right? Take away that which God intended for you to have. Yeah. 
Yeah. It is the thief that came to rob you out of the life yeah. that God intended. It is the yeah. thief that yeah. comes to rob you out of hell. God has nothing to do with that. Yeah. Are you hear what I'm saying? Yeah. And so if I don't get rid of that uncertainty about God's will for my life, then I will accept something that God doesn't want me to accept. But it is the will of God. Yeah. serve notice on the devil. Hallelujah. It is the will of God that sickness be healed. It is the will of God that humanity be made whole. He said, I have come that you might have life. That you might have it to the full. I'm not interested in you just getting by. Amen. I want you to have joy unspeakable. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to have new life. Yeah. Life flowing through every fiber of your yeah. being. Yeah. Hallelujah. I want you to shine like a light. Yeah. So when others that are lost begin to look upon you and say, what is this joy that you have? What is this light that is about you? What are you all about? What do you know that I don't know? Yeah. That you can pause and begin to tell them. There's a man. Jesus that walked the shores of the Galilee. Hallelujah. This man I met one day and he changed my life forever. Hallelujah. It is this man I promote now. It is this man, hallelujah, that brought me out of the quagmires of sin. It is this man that I will tell you about. He lifted me up when I was down. He healed the broken places in my life. He gave to me life when I was dying. He healed my body. He rescued me from a devil's hell. set you free. Yeah. He'll give you a new lease on life. Yeah. He'll give you a sense of purpose. Yeah. He'll give you a sense of destiny. Yeah. Hallelujah. He'll give you motivation and inspiration. Yeah. God is a good God, somebody. Yeah. I wish somebody could lift your hands and praise Him right now. God, I praise you. God, I magnify you. You're deserving of praise. You're deserving of glory. Hallelujah. God is good. He said, I've came. I've come that you might have life. Yeah. Look at somebody say, never forget this. Came that you might have life. Sickness in your body. Confusion in your home. Blame it on Jesus. Jesus came that you might have life. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now he began to remind me to go back again. To the we talked about someone yesterday, second. Corinthians, and I want you to follow with me, because God reminded me of something, and he says here in chapter 5, therefore if any man, don't let me go, he says, for the love of Christ constrains us, because we thus judge that if one died for all, all dead, and that he died for all, and they, that they which Live should not henceforth live to themselves, yeah. but to him which died for them and rose again. Yeah. Wherefore henceforth know we no man after the flesh. Mm -hmm. Though we have known Christ after the flesh, yet now henceforth know we him no more. Now I want you to think about this. Here's what has happened, and I believe we all perhaps are guilty of this. Mm -hmm. We do not look at one another that are slain. In the right way all the time. All right. We judge them based on their performance. Amen. And what God wants us to do now is to understand that if any man is in Christ, right. he's a new creation. Yeah. He's a new creature. Amen. And God finds no fault in him. Amen. So that if we are going to please the Lord. We need the understanding if we're going to be healed, uh -huh. then there's a certain understanding as to who we are, who we are, and who our, the, the family of God is. Amen. We, Paul said from this point out, we know no man after the flesh. Amen. In other words, if anybody has been saved, he's a new creature. Amen. Doesn't matter how, whether he's an infant, a toddler, if 
He's in Christ. He's a new creature. And so God wants us now to take the cobwebs off of our mind and begin to have an understanding as to how God sees humanity. As how God sees His church. For God so loved the church and He gave Himself for the church. And so often saints of God, even in the body of Christ, we look with, with, with a sign of a scarce, a scarce way to look at people. And the Lord, it's like He said, I want all that to stop. I want you to come to a knowledge of understanding that, that this is my body. All right. This is my body. You, you, you can't be looking uh, and, and persecuting one another and, um, and, and, and think that you're doing the will of God. You, you must understand that the wicked saint is a part of my body. And I love him because he's a part of this body. Because he's a part of Christ. If any man be in Christ, He's a new creature. This has to go in our homes. This has to go to our family members here that are saved. We must understand now that if anybody has been saved, then God looks at them differently. They're part of the family of God. And God said, I want you to treat them like family. Hallelujah. I want you to treat them like family. I don't want you to look down upon them. I want you to treat them like family because that's how I see them. They're mine. Don't bring it back up. 
Because God sees them. Yes. Hallelujah. And washed. Yes. Cleansed. Yes. By the blood of the Lamb. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. He said, if any man, oh my God, to be in Christ, he's new. Mm -hmm. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. And all things are of God. Yes. Thank the Lord. Who has reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ. Listen to this. And has given to us the ministry of reconciliation. One, one uh, interpretation said, well, he, he gave to the apostles. That's how big the difference. Mm. He gave to us. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, anybody that's going to take this gospel. Uh -huh. Isn't that right? Yeah. Yeah. If I'm going to be, be, see people saved and proclaim to them, then that ministry is given to me. Yeah. Yeah. Just like it was to Paul and the other. Isn't that right? Yeah. Yeah. And has committed to us. We then as ambassadors yeah. of God. Yeah. Paul said, beseech you that you don't receive of God in my faith. Uh, my God, hallelujah. Now listen, he said, to me, to know that God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself. Now listen, this, this line, if you, you've got a pen underlined in, in your Bible, on your cell phone. <laughs> Not imputing their trespasses unto them. Part of the way we reconcile yeah. is understanding what was done at Calvary. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I didn't pay the price. Yes. You didn't pay the price. Yes. Yeah. He paid the price. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. It says he paid the price. Yeah. Who am I? To tell somebody you're disqualified or you're not qualified. So he says, God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, not imputed, not charging or credited to their account, sin. Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. That old sister need to get her life together, you know, and she ain't about nothing. Uh -huh. God said, Don't be talking like that. Uh -huh. Don't be talking like that. Because you don't understand who you are. Amen. You don't understand what happened at Calvary. Amen. When that blood came, that blood, Jesus died as a, an atoning sacrifice mm -hmm. for the sins of humanity. Yeah. Yeah. Every man and woman that was born on this earth yeah. were born into sin yeah. and shape and iniquity. Yeah. Yeah. But this blood yeah. was offered to the Father, yeah. Christ's own blood. Yeah. Yeah. For the sins of humanity. Yeah. And he dealt with that sin factor yeah. that prevailed on the earth. Yeah. Now, anybody that comes to God and accepts what Christ has done oh. on the cross can be saved and receive life and forgiveness Amen. of yeah. sins. And, yeah. and they become our brothers or sisters. Yeah. They may be infant, they may have falsehood, but listen to this. God says if any man is in Christ, he's a new creature. Yeah. Think about it. He didn't say if anybody is super, super righteous, if anybody is, is good, they, they don't do this, they don't do that. He says if any man be in Christ, yeah. Yeah. I must understand this. If I'm going to get help from God, if I'm going to see God heal, work the miracles that he intended. And I need to understand that the weakest lamb is still a part of the body. Amen. 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 When Joseph foresaw Israel being delivered, he saw all Israel 
uh -huh. being delivered. Uh -huh. And he said, don't forget to take my bone off. <laughs> but this is something that God was really speaking to me. And so he says, old things are passed away. We must see that about ourselves and about others. Amen. Is that right? Amen. God was in Christ reconciling the word of himself. When you, when you talk to somebody about Christ, don't bring up their sins. Hmm. Tell them what God has done. Yes, Amen. I remember Yogi Cho was telling me, we gathered at a luncheon there years ago, several pastors, and Paul Yogi Cho came and he gave an experience that he had, and I'll never forget it. See, he was out there knocking doors, trying to get people saved. And so he talked to a lady that she was going through so much. So the lady didn't want to hear what he had to say, so he got a little mad. He said, Lady, you gonna go to hell. Uh -huh. You don't hear what I'm saying? So the lady looked at him and said, Hell! I'm already in hell. She said, <laughs> <laughs> She began to name and say, My husband don't have a job. My husband was an alcoholic. My son's got out of school. She went on to name some of the problems. She says, I'm already there. So she said, you preacher, you get away from my door. Mm. <laughs> but the preacher, he never went back to the throne, but he went back to God. And he said, God, I need help. He said, God, just show me your wisdom. God said, look at the word, look at how I did it. Mm -hmm. There was a woman that had that, that uh, was in, in Samaria at the well. Oh she was like a town prostitute. Oh and the time that she would go to get water was the time not when all the ladies would go because she was ashamed of her life. Amen. She went at an off time. And at that off time, oh my, ooh, uh, Jesus came at that off time. Yes. <laughs> because he wanted her to know. Everybody may look at you in a bad way. But I came to help you. Yes. He yes. met her at the yes. Yes. And he began to tell her about her life. Yes. And she got so excited. Come see a man that told me about everything. It's just like yes. And he told her that if you want this living woman, if you knew what I had to offer, yeah. Yeah. Why are you asking me to put this water? Yeah. Uh, and she said, give me this water. Uh, yes. Hallelujah. Yes. I, I believe he's trying to shift something in our thinking. Yes. I believe he's trying to strip away some things that we, 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 we can't use if he's going to bring in more. Isn't that right? Yes. Amen. I know I'm talking about healing the sick, but that's a little excerpt that didn't cost you nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But the thing that he was emphasizing that we have to see one another as people of God, yeah. as in the family of God, yeah. because words can hinder. Yeah. And so we don't charge them with sin. What's mm -hmm. between them and God is God and well, let me say it like this. Two thieves were hanging on the cross. Mm -hmm. Scribes and Pharisees said, yep, they deserve exactly what they're getting. Uh. <laughs> they're hanging on the cross to die. And one, before he died, said, Lord, remember me. Yeah. That's right. When you come into your kingdom. Yeah. Before he took his last breath, yes. God accepted him. Yes. Amen. 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 We have no way of knowing what a person may be communing with God. Amen. When we criticize, That's right. Amen. we may be hindering our own lives. Amen. I want you to hear what God is saying to us today. 
There's some healings won't come because there's always something standing in the way. Uh, always some wrong. But if we understand now that the body of Christ is God's body. Yes. And He loves His people. Yes. He loves. All the weak ones, all the strong ones, all yes. the infants, all the toddlers, all the adolescents. He loves them all. Yes, he, does. he loves them all. And he doesn't love the adolescents more than he loved the little infants. Yes, yes. As a matter of fact, he probably gave more care to the little infants. Yes. He shows a little more love to the infants because they need it. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. Mothers, you know what I'm talking about. What happens when you, a baby is born into the world? And the mother, the father, the siblings, and all the aunts and the uncles and everybody that know you, they end up going to say, oh, he's so, oh, she is so, oh, look at the hold them. You know, Hallelujah, glory. Because they're infants. Yeah. Uh, yes. And they need oh, thank you. love. Amen. Yes. Amen. Thank you, so we do injustice when we withhold from them. Yes, yes. Love. Amen. Amen. If they are messing up royally, that means they're babies. Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. Amen. And they need love. Yes. They don't need our criticisms. They need love. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I, I know, I know. It's, it's, it's good for me. He's a good God. So, now, so, the thief comes not but for to kill us, you know, so we don't want the thief to be using us, right? If any man is in Christ, he's new. All things will pass away. So he's committed to us the word of reconciliation. He says, we're new creatures in Christ. We're blessed. Very important. You belong to Jesus. You're blessed. Amen. You may not see it yet, uh -huh. but you're blessed. Amen. But I hope that when this series is over, you will walk like you know and understand you're blessed. Amen. You're blessed in the city. Yeah. You're blessed in the field. Yeah. Blessed in the street. Yeah. Blessed in your home. Hallelujah. Blessed. You're just plain blessed. Hallelujah. Don't have to do a thing but understand it, believe it, in order to come into what God has for you. You're blessed. Look at somebody say, you're already blessed. Stop trying to be blessed. You're already blessed. Hallelujah. Just walk in it. Isn't that right? Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody say, well, now, I don't know you. I, I, yeah, it sounds good, but uh, you don't know what I'm going through. You didn't say you were blessed because of what you're going through. Uh -huh. yeah, right. Say you're blessed. Galatians chapter 3. Mm. So the day that be a faith right. are blessed. Right. Amen. We're faithful Abraham. That's right. And if you've received the promise of the Holy Spirit, yeah. <laughs> because of my, you, yeah. you're doing all right. Thank you, Lord. So we're blessed. Now, let's get this clear in our understanding. We're blessed. Amen. Yeah. It doesn't matter what trials we're facing. You're blessed. Amen. Yeah. So we must see ourselves like God said. Yeah. You're blessed. Yeah. You know, I got a feeling that when the person changes that understanding, that I'm already blessed, you find yourself stepping out of those situations that's held you in bondage for so long. Amen. Amen. Because Satan can't keep lying to you Amen. and get in Bible with you. Isn't that right? Amen. Look at somebody right now and say, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. This is not a phony, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Come on, give up. Yes, Lord. That means you've been accepted by God, all right? So I said, well, I don't feel blessed. It's not in how you feel. Yes. <laughs> it's not in how you feel. There's sometimes I feel like laying in bed for hours. <laughs> but the day comes and I got to get up. Yeah. You hear what I'm saying? Yeah. I can't let the feelings that control me. Right? Yeah. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. And you're blessed. Amen. You're blessed because of Jesus Christ. Yeah. You're blessed. Now look, anybody that belongs to Christ.
Christ. It's like God said, if, if you belong to Christ, you're all right with me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Because of what Christ has done. He's so pleased. Yeah. He's so pleased the Father. Yes. That if any prayer that Jesus prays for you and I is heard, it's done. Amen. Amen. God loves his son. He yes, says, he does. In whom I'm well pleased. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. Well pleased. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. And when the devil starts messing, Jesus is up there on the right hand of the Father. How you like to have a lawyer for an elder brother? <laughs> How you like to have an elder brother for a lawyer when you when you get into legal when you when you get into legal trouble? Mm, yeah. All right. Well, that's what you got. Amen. Yes. Amen. He's our advocate. Yes, he is. He's our lawyer. Yes. Hallelujah, boy. He's a good one too. Yes, he is. My God, he's a good one. Mm. Yes. Guess what? When the devil starts messing and accusing. He said, Father, remember my blood. Uh -huh. yes. The devil ain't got nowhere to go with that. Yes. Anybody hear what I'm saying? Yes. He said, Father, remember the blood. Yes. Remember my blood. Yes. Already blessed. Amen. Already blessed. Amen. Listen, if I change my testimony tomorrow, you're still blessed. Do you hear what I'm saying? Somebody might catch me on the wrong side, and I might say something to you, and you might go say, Man, Pastor, listen, but you're blessed. Amen. You're blessed. Amen. Think about it. It's about that word, isn't it? Amen. The word is truth. Yeah. You continue in my word. You're my disciples indeed, and you shall know the truth. And the truth shall yes. make you free. Isn't that right? You bless somebody. Bless in the city. Bless in the field. Bless them. Bless. Just bless. Pray bless. Hallelujah. You bless. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Lift your head up and start walking like somebody. The Lord is your blessing. Behold what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us. We should be called our sons of God. Yeah. Therefore the world doesn't know us because they didn't know him. Amen. Amen. Now are we the sons of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. John said, oh, what quality of love the Father has bestowed upon us to call us sons of God. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at somebody say, on the right side, I'm blessed. Hallelujah. I'm blessed. I'm going to leave this place with a new mentality. Hallelujah. I ain't walking out of this place with my head. I'm walking out of this place with my head lifted up. Right. Thank you, Lord, for his goodness. I'm magnifying him. I'm blessed in the city. I'm blessed in the field. I'm blessed in my house. I'm blessed when I get up in the morning. I'm blessed when I don't feel like it. I'm blessed when I lay down at night. Like I'm blessed.
said, not Judah. You want to stir him up. The Bible says, and Judah means praise. Yeah. Right here at home when you yeah. start praising God. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. You see, he, he don't come in any kind of atmosphere. Uh -huh. Glory to God. Hallelujah. <laughs> so, somebody's trying to get him to do some supernatural stuff, and your head's hung down too yeah. much. Yeah. You're saying all the wrong things too much. But lift up your head. Begin to sing praises to God. Yeah. Oh, 
Jesus Christ. Yes. Hallelujah. Everything pays respect yes. Yes. to Him. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we bless you now. Yes. Because you are the Lion. Yes. And the tribe of yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for Thank your life. Thank you for strengthening our hearts today. Yes. yes. By your loving spirit. Yes. You've been good to us. Yes, Lord. You're gracious of any man. Yes. New. It's a new creature. Glory. Yes. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbors and lift up your head. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. It's one of the old numbers. George and I.